fam, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely. Be the, the interim WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, John Riel Guadro Alas Casimero. Defeats with 21 of his 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former IBF Junior Bantamweight World Champion and tonight the reigning and defending WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, Solani Lesbourne Tete! Well, it is actually, yeah, I thought it was a good Last uh, October. Well, he, well, obviously, oh, that's better there for Casemiro. All the fight with the longer reach, I, I want to keep it long. you got to make, you got to try and bring it to me. Oh, Casimero got him. He's got him with a butt now. He's getting hits. He's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was on the chin. Sure. It was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's all over the place. He's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Casimero take him out here? It happened so quickly. And he's still got a long way to go in this round. There's one minute, 20 seconds. And... Tete still looks unsteady. He's got to buy some time here and make Casimero miss. Casimero needs to pick his punches and he can't find the clean shot and he falls down. Tete. I don't think there was a punch which put him down. He just collapsed to the canvas. He's not recovered from the first time. shot. He's not recovered from the first knockdown. I'm sure of it. Referee asking, is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zolani Tete stopped by John Real Casimero of the Philippines, and the big South African favourite suffers a defeat which was simply not expected, no way. Well, we're sat here just praising Tete up. And all of a sudden, Casimiro comes in with a short hook, hits, uh, sort of turns the body, hits, hit, hits Tete sort of flush on the chin, squared up. And he waits for you to make the mistake, waits for you to engage. But we didn't know, we weren't giving Casimiro enough credit for all. Badly stunned by this. You're going to see it now here, there's, nothing's happening. Now all of a sudden, look, he doubles up really quick, but the first one did all the damage, and he was gone. Well, anyway, you, see, you can't see it there by the referee, but... But it, it was a great shot. He just he stepped around and the left foot's gone out, outside of the right foot of the southpaw. Oh, look at that. Right on right the temple. Hand. Right on the temple. Right short little right hook right on the temple. And he does it again, doubles it up again, but the first one did all the damage. He jumps in with a body shot, which I initially I thought was what had done it. And then he lands with two right hands to the home really as the opponent. No one really thought he would win. No, no one forget, people forgot that he was a two-eight world champion. No one could thought he could win. And he, he what a sensational victory for him. And it's I wonder if he knows we're talking about him. And there's the moment which makes boxing special. Congratulations from Tete to the new champion. We didn't really see that one coming. And here now is Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Steve Gray, waves it off. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout, and new WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jean Riel Guadro Alas Casimeno. To say he is happy would be a significant understatement. He is utterly delighted.